Hey guys, Gemma from ASD Rocks. So I have just booked in with a nutritionist. Yes, I make that face. Why do I make that face? I make that face because the last nutritionist I saw about Bo, he was probably about five or six and he, um, the, I don't know if it's just that autism has become really popular and people are really understanding so much more about it now than they did 17 years ago. But, you know, this nutritionist was like, oh, you know, he's on, I, I, I explained that he's only got five accepted foods. We knew he had autism and he was like, well, you know, he has, a Vegemite toast so why don't you just try you know putting avocado under there avocado's got lots of good fats and I was like dude he he won't he won't eat avocado like it's not in his five accepted foods and then he was like well you know maybe you can you know and nuts nuts are really good he could just snack on nuts I was like Dude, do you understand that this kid has autism? He has five accepted foods. If those foods aren't available to him, he ends up in hospital on a feeding tube. Like, end of story. Don't tell me, oh, well, you know, hide the vegetables, hide this, hide it under. He knows. If, if his meal isn't prepared exactly, and I mean exactly the same way, like if there's a tiniest bit of burn, like, you know, a flake from, from the pan that happens to have dislodged uh, and, and put itself onto the perfect goddamn chicken patty that he's been eating nonstop since the day that his, his diet completely became limited it's a rejected food you know it's not that I'm I haven't tried a thousand different ways to do this so I wrote off nutritionists um, a lot of times because not only did they not understand that I couldn't introduce these foods but also because you know they would talk about certain things that I couldn't do anything about um, you know, oh, we've got these drops for, for, for this gut health and these drops for this and we've got this. And, you know, it was, they just didn't understand that he wouldn't take five drops under the tongue. It just wasn't, wasn't doable. Anyway, you've seen, if you follow the page, um, the playlist FU food and how since he was about 10 we've been able which is the time I was told by the great and wise Eisenmeier um, was that was the time that I would be able to start expanding his foods from about 10 years old onwards and um, you've seen that we've introduced a whole load of new foods and one of the things that I've been really really looking to do since his sports physiology is introduce like a shake supplement um, because he's burning so many calories with his stim running and his three sessions a week of sports physiology that, yeah, it's great, but that he's doing the sports physiology, but he hasn't got enough nutrition, enough fat to burn, and it's just eating away at the muscles. So I started looking at all of these... Oh my God, I started looking at all these uh, shakes, right? Now, keep in mind, Bo drinks water, nothing but water. And so introducing a shake, a chocolate shake, is not going to be easy. There's going to be textural problems. There's going to be flavor problems. There's going to be all these problems. There's just going to be mental problems that will come up and, and inhibit him from just here's a chocolate shake mate um, it's just not going to work like that so um, I have been working on that and I did actually do a video on it um, on how I got him drinking these shakes 
I did a trial shake from a particular um, of a particular brand, but unfortunately, after two months of doing that brand, uh, it just it, it didn't show. That we we took his me measurements, we took everything, um, then we put him on the shake for two months, and then we took his measurements and and weight and all of that sort of stuff two months later, and it, it just didn't show any any results. So. I started looking at all those, you know, protein shakes and sausage and shakes and there's words in there like, you know, creatine and whey and calories and protein and all this stuff that, I, honest to God, I have no idea what, heart, what, like, what, what, what any of this stuff is. And I really, do you know what, I do not have the time to research this stuff. Um, and everybody's got a different opinion, you know. It was really interesting. I put a thing out on um, my community Facebook just to hear, just to hear what people had, would say. You know, people, I know there's heaps of, um, I'd get a really good variety of people that would sort of put in their two cents worth about, you know, oh, this isn't good for kids and that's not, and that's, you know, not good. And this is what's, you know, what way means and you know, you want this carbs and calories and blah 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 so it was it, it did help me understand but in truth to make the actual decision and know and understand um i have booked in with a sports nutritionist um so i've who is in the city which i hate but they are um they're the the melbourne sports nutritional center and they're good so I have booked in for just to find out what the best shakes are that I can then work on with bone now that I've got him on the shakes I need I need to keep that up and he needs to put on weight so next week I have an appointment with um, with the sports medicine nutritionist and uh, she's been given links to the um, FU food uh, playlist of how we've increased Bo's food. Also the sports physiology links on ASD Rocks so that she knows exactly what kind of um, sports physiology he's doing three times a week. Um, they called today to ask if I could make a list of all of the foods that he eats um, in the next week so they've been they're, they're, they're so far really good and what I'm hoping to get out of this is a shake the, her suggestion of a particular brand and a particular shake or two that will put on the calories he needs and um, help him burn you know burn fat put on burn fat rather than the muscle that he's putting on now the other thing that someone suggested which damn it I need to do actually today is to get him a Fitbit and the reason that we should get him a Fitbit is because or, or whatever you know to count his a step counter whatever um, and the reason that we need to do that is so that if we can see because everything's consistent every breakfast is the same every lunch is the same every dinner is basically the same um, you know if we can see how many calories he's burning then we know how many calories we need to replace and put on on top of what he's currently eating and that was a suggestion from a lovely just um, friend who uh, came over to see the bunnies that we have so yeah that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna today I'm gonna go and get a Fitbit I'm gonna start journaling exactly what he's eating I guess we'll see um, how many steps or how many kilometers uh, I'll see where I can go and buy one of those I'm pretty sure they're everywhere he doesn't need the Ferrari of them but it's a really actually a really good idea so if you do want to know how to put weight on for your kids one of the things that was really beautifully suggested to me was get a Fitbit find out how many calories he's burning in a day across a week and then you know how many you need to replace so I'll let you know how we go um, I'll let you know how we go with the nutritionist and yeah ASD rocks guys